Hey guys, um, little mobile phone video because I haven't posted anything for ages. Um, I'm just at a customer's house. He's got a GSXR 600K something, KO, um, a runner. Um, it's GSXR 600K, KO, K0. Um, he's just bought it. Um, he's only had it a day, bless him. And it's making a horrific noise. Um, no idea what it is. It sounds really, really weird. So I'll take you to it now and we'll have a look and see what's going on. I lied to you, it's a 750, 750KO, um, I've got this fairing panel off because there's a horrific noise coming from behind this cover, you listen to this now when I start it up, oh hang on, I'm going to have to put the phone down, I've got to pull clutch in, you wait a second, it'll start screeching, You can feel a real vibration here. Turn it off, it's terrifying. Um, so I'm gonna pull this cover off. I've just taken this off. Um, I thought maybe the I could feel something on the tapered roller clutch, but I couldn't. So I'm gonna take this cover off now. I think maybe the, if I had to guess, I'd say the um, bolt was rubbing on the inside of the cover or something. But anyway, let's take the cover off and have a look. So as you know, I don't normally like groveling round on the floor. I like to have stuff on the workbench um, in the van. But in this case, I don't intend to be very long. I just want to get this cover off and have a look. I'm suspecting maybe I'm going to need some parts for it. Um, I need to be quick because it's my wife's birthday today and shouldn't really be working. Um, anyway, let's pull this cover off and see what's uh, going on. Oh, I need some gloves. Interestingly, these bolts are really loose. Makes me suspicious that maybe it's been off before. Like literally really loose. Alarm bells are ringing. There's no way those bolts should be that loose. Definitely been off this cover. Bizarrely, it looks all right. So I was expecting, given the noise it was making, how's that noise? Oh, it's a gate banging. I was expecting something obviously rubbing. Uh, weird. You could literally. If you had your hand on the outside of this case, you could really feel it vibrating. Um, if it's maybe the tapered roller clutch, the sprag clutch on the back, I think we'll pull that flywheel and have a look. One other thing quickly worth mentioning as well is there should be a dowel in there. It just locates uh, in here. Get the cover nice and square on. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely been a part. I think I suspect somebody's been trying to diagnose this problem already. Very strange. I'm not too worried about that cover lining up because it's got it's got this um, doofer for the um, idle counter gear, idle intermediate geary thingy. Um, so it locates there and it locates on the starter, so it's going to be fairly true. 
but it should have, still should have that dowel. Very strange. <clears throat> right, so here's the deal. Um, I suspect it might be. If I rotate this with my fingers, it's obviously impossible to see on video, but it feels a little bit sort of notchy. And I can't really think that it could be anything else. So here's the deal, here's what I'm going to do. I've been thinking, well, how can I? I've been sort of trying to spin that with my finger really fast, thinking, well, like, I can't replicate the engine spinning. So what I'm going to do, put it back together, and I'm going to leave out that gear. And I'm going to have to push start it to get it going, because obviously the starter motor won't be able to, won't be able to um, start the engine. But what it will mean is it'll, this gear will, will more than likely spin with a crankshaft rather than staying stationary. Um, if my noise goes away, then I know it's something with a sprout clutch. Um, anyway, that's my plan, that's how I'm going to attack this, so I'm going to put it back together without that gear. Right, so I just jump started it. It's still making it. That noise, but it's not quite as constant. So literally, it feels like it's the other side of this aluminium. The vibration is... If I didn't know different, I'd say there was something rubbing on this cover. I'll take this off as it's running, see if it'll spray oil all over me. This could end badly, couldn't it? Misfire is bothering me too. You hear it coming on and off. There's a cylinder dropping in and out. It's going from three to four cylinders. I guess that's a separate issue though. So it's quieting down now a little bit. And when it's quiet, you can't feel that on the cover like it's rubbing on the cover. Given that it's intermittent now, with the, with the idler gear uh, disconnected, I'm fairly sure it's that tapered roller clutch, the sprag clutch, because obviously it's sort of trying to go around with a crank and it's getting dragged around sometimes and not others. I just wonder if I could somehow lock up that. lock up the, the gear on the tapered roller clutch as it's running and see if it gets noisy and end up we get fucking oil everywhere and I don't really want to jam a screwdriver in here it's interesting though well, seriously do not well, let's look at the camera eh? seriously do not try this at home what I'm going to do is it's running now with out the idler gear so the, the tapered roller clutch piece is not locked up but it's all turning together and it's quiet, or it seems to be quiet, now the engine's warmed up. What I want to do is I want to pokey pokey through that hole while the engine's running and stop that, stop the tapered roller gear from turning on the crank, but with the engine running. So seriously, don't try this at home, but I'm, I'm, my theory is that if I stop that, the moment I stop that gear, the vibration and the horrible noise is going to come back and I'm probably going to feel it as well with wherever I stop that gear with. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke a little piece of wood in there, something soft, and just rub it on that gear. Slow that gear down enough and if the noise instantly appears then we know it's the mechanism of that tapered roller clutch. I think somebody's been here before trying to diagnose this and hasn't got to the bottom of it, so hopefully I will. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not sure I'm going to film it because I haven't got a tripod on my phone or for this camera um, I need because I'm going to definitely need two hands I want to have one hand on the ignition key to kill the engine um, anyway let's see if we can cobble something together and it might be quite interesting here's what I'm going to use it's long and it's rubbery focus you Come on, focus. 
it's a valve doofer for grinding in valves and um, that'd be perfect just to pokey pokey in the hole and just rub on that gear to slow the gear down anyway that's my plan see you on the other side right this has the potential to go horribly wrong because I'm trying to film it at the same time I'm going to take this cover off and I'm going to rub this on the gear what I'm hoping is the noise will come back instantly because the noise isn't there at the moment um, I'm going to do this quickly though because it's spitting oil out and I don't really want to get covered so here goes Whoa. ok so No fucking noise still. Typical. Oh, that blows that theory. Okay, after closer inspection, you know I said this dowel was missing. I didn't really pay enough attention, but because it was all oily. Look at that. There's a little bloody scrapey mark there, look. Which would explain why, you know, saying I thought I could feel it on the outside. Of, it was like it was on the outside of the cover. So what it looks like has been happening. I've been going completely down the wrong bloody path thinking about this sprout clutch. Um, <coughs> we're going to arrive at the right destination, though. I think is it's been rubbing on the stator winding, which is obviously bolted to the outside of that cover. So that would kind of explain it. So I'm going to have a rummage in my toolbox. See if I've got a dowel this size. I'm going to reassemble it all I'm going to have to wait for it to cool down because heat is playing a, playing a part here and I reckon that's probably what it is I should have paid a bit more attention to that there's a lesson for all of us you kind of get something in your head you think, ooh, I think it's that which is why I wanted to prove that theory conclusively um, so I'm glad I didn't just uh, think, oh, it's having a sprag clutch in it, because that would have been an expensive um, misdiagnosis. Anyway, let's find, you know, sprag clutch, £200, little dowel in the bottom of my toolbox, 10 pence. It's often the way, it's often the simple things. Wonder why this cover's been off, though, that's bugging me. You know, all the bolts were loose. Somebody's been in here before and lost that dowel. Why were they in here in the first place? Anyway, who knows? I haven't got a crystal ball. Can't go back in time. Let's put it back together properly with a new gasket and a dowel and uh, let it cool down and then reassess. The chances of having the right dowel kicking around. I know I've got some back in the workshop. Bloody hell, look at that. Is that a crime? Can you tell what I did with that? <laughs> Shape of a gear in my two pence piece, locking up a crank with it to do something. Jesus, don't do it at home. Buy the special tool. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll just get the genuine Suzuki one. Well, that's going to be the end of this video, but there'll be an update when I get the correct dowel for that cover and put it back together. God, it's annoying though. I wish I just... Maybe I could make a dowel out of something. Hmm. You know when you get that feeling that you just... You've got one somewhere. It's just really bugging me. Just... Oh. I don't know. There. You could probably see it before me. I wonder if that's the right one. Chances are it's not, but it looks like it might be. Bollocks. Close but no cigar. Here's what I'm going to do. That's the dowel I found. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush it and make it 
I'm not going to crush it on camera because I'll cock it up and I'm going to crush it, which will make it larger diameter either side. I really want to test my theory, and this guy really wants to ride his bike, so <clears throat> I'm going to squash this so it fits in the hole. New gasket, so it's all lined up because it's kind of almost lined up with the shaft for the idler gear and the starter motor, but it's Needs to be more precise than that because the air gap between the magnets in the flywheel and the <coughs> the stator is um I don't know how many thou it is but it's tight you know it's a tight air gap there so it really it needs this dowel to be lined up properly so I'll squash this and uh, that'll help the cover line up because it'll be tight in both and uh, hopefully that'll work well, it'll work for now anyway I just need to test my theory. Now let's see what happens. Even better, don't know whether you can see that on camera, this is a split dowel, which means it's not one piece of steel, it's made from a flat piece rolled up. There's actually a split down it, so I'm just going to put a tapered drift in it and open it up till it's the right size. Job's a good one. I think this is called working with what you've got, isn't it? That'll do. And I need a new battery of my vernier too, it looks like. Happy days. Might want to just, I don't think that'll do, it's nice and tight. Genius, man, genius. Oh, seriously. Shame about it running on three cylinders. There's a lot more to this bike than meets the eye. And I'm going to tell you the story now. Okay, so we've got some, um, I think we've got some hair beard continuity problems going on here, because um, this is filmed, look at the camera, this is filmed probably two weeks after that last lot of stuff you just saw. This video actually wasn't even going to be a thing, because I thought there might be some sort of lawsuit going to happen with this bike and the guy bought it from, um, but it turns out that isn't going to happen, so just... Just a bit of uh, info about what's been going on. So that GSX-R 750 that you've just seen, um, turns out it's been in an accident and that generator cover is a new generator cover. Um, some stuff you didn't see in the video was, it looks like the, you know, the flywheel, the magnets were catching in the, um, on the generator. It looks like either the flywheel is out of round or the end of the crank is bent. Anyway, long story short, never really got to the bottom of it I could move that cover around and get it to a point where it was quiet but if it moved a couple of thou either way the magnets on the flywheel would come into contact with the generator and you'd get that still get that noise um, anyway the upshot is the guy that bought the bike he'd only had it a day when it started making the noise the company he bought it from has had it back he threatened them with trading standards and a solicitor and a couple of nasty letters to them initially it looked like they weren't going to play ball um, and it was going to get a bit nasty which is why I didn't post this video sooner um, 
but they've had the bike back and he's got his money and it all looks like it's going to be fine so disaster averted so somebody's going to have to continue trying to put that bike right I think probably a crankshaft or a flywheel but anyway and there was some other signs of actually when you look really close at the frame rail of the bike it looked like it had been painted and that fairing panel on that side was actually new newer looking compared to the other side so actually there were some telltale signs there that it had been in an accident anyway that's the end of this video hope you like it bit of a bit of a vlog for you um i've got something else in the works which is about an hour long which is a motorcycle charging system so that's going to be i'm going to pull my finger out and post that soon anyway thanks for watching guys see you on the next one